Guys, Maritime Spook here, and uh, out with uh, Big Boy Bushcraft Dick and uh, Cameron Cam, his son Cameron, uh, the camera genius. And uh, just got a nice little smudge going, guys. And uh, Dick's gonna throw some charcoal uh, briquettes in there because he has a uh, beautiful Dutch oven there. Uh, one of those new, wasn't it? Ozark Trail new yeah. one? Yeah. They're like, what was it, 20 bucks or? It was 17.99 American. 17.99 American, guys. That was a wicked deal for a Dutch oven. And if you want to look back at things that our ancestors actually did, that was a big deal. A Dutch oven was like a big deal to have one of them. Uh, every two or three trappers would have one. And a lot of the time, people would go through, and if you worked for the Hudson Bay Company, they would actually save up the money together and buy things for the camp. And that was one of the main items. I saw a list one time in the... Uh, a list of some things people had for Hudson Bay Company, and that was one of the top ones, <coughs> was uh, having a Dutch oven between three or four fellas. So very, very cool way to cook. Um, Dick's using his uh, S4 right there by Utica Cutlery. I uh, gifted that to him, guys. He's going to do some review, because I'm going to test out the five, and I think the best way to do it, guys, was to have somebody else have one. So I gifted that one to Dick. Uh, the S4, what do you think of it so far? You oh, like man. it? You've been, you've been using it there since we got out? It's great. Um, yeah, I uh, was uh, wondering about the, the clip on it, but it's working fine. I've been wearing it all day long. It's working great. Um, I'll find out more after I use it for a bit. That's right, man. But, See, uh, I, it's been great. I went along there too, and like I said, for like two weeks, guys, I used that like an EDC kind of knife. And uh, I had no problem. The clip, like you said before, you see how it's sort of got a cant to it. Like it kind of sits different on your belt. It'll take a little bit of time to get used to. Yep. But uh, it's a great knife, guys. It really is. So I'm going to get out and test in the five. But uh, he's going to test the four as I'm doing so. I uh, just got the four, uh, some of the normal essentials here, guys. Uh, I got my at the Alpini pack with my survival cylinders in there. Wearing my uh, Prepper Dell bracelet there from uh, <coughs> the last couple days. Got the fro, just out normal doing stuff, guys. So, anyway, guys, I'll get back with you, and uh, we'll get this thing going here, and maybe I'll let you in on, uh, you know, when the food's done or whatever. And I'm going to tape every little thing, guys, going, because I said I mentioned that before, guys. It can be a pain to try to do everything uh, to try to get going. So I'll just go back with you when something else comes up. Uh, you guys always ask me. Uh, today I am carrying the Triple uh, X Nine Sitka, and uh, just for Mr. Aaron Nelson, that freak. <laughs> that uh yeah mr freak there aaron nelson who likes his jugs of jugs of uh baby oil and whatnot there and we won't get into why he likes them so much i'll show him uh show you guys a quick peek of a knife now i can't show you the whole video or do anything on it because i was sort of instructed uh you know to lay off it for a bit <clears throat> but uh, i'll at least show you the handle there and uh just bear with me for a second guys we'll do that now so aaron can get uh you know going to the back room or do whatever he does there after he watches it all right, guys, so here we go for Aaron, so he can go get his lotion ready or whatever he needs to get ready. Um, this here, guys, is a triple X knives uh, spectra ply handle. And I'm not doing a video of it, guys. This is actually my knife that I had before. This isn't a new knife, but uh, I had uh, Derek do a bit of a spa treatment, and I got some new scales on it. So very, very beautiful knife now, guys. Um, spectra ply with the red and uh almost like an oak kind of kind of deal i'm not 100 percent sure because it was a surprise to me but what a knife guys so what do you think of that aaron that's a beauty eh it's whack worthy that's for sure but uh nope just a beautiful knife guys it's not one i probably i've said this before if i were to have like a one tool type knife which is kind of a silly thing to me but if i were to only want to take one knife out i said before the privateer would probably be it but uh in all honesty after i thought about it more uh, this is larger. It's an M2 steel, guys. I've chopped trees down as, as big around as my leg with this thing. And, uh, you know, I did that in that video before. And it's just a heck of a knife. So this would probably be it, actually, guys. Because the size of the blade and the material, just everything is uh, very, very well made. So this is impressive. This is like a dream come true kind of knife. So, but like I said, there's going to be no videos of it or anything right off. Because it's just a knife I had that got retooled. So down the road, maybe we will. And uh, Derek and I have been blessed with a lot of, uh, you know, orders. So, I mean, the more videos I do sometimes, the more orders come in, which is great. But, you know, it makes it hard sometimes. But, anyway, guys, that was just something I'm going to share with you. I'll get back with you here after a bit. But, uh, you know, Dick's getting everything ready. He's a heck of a chef. So, uh, we'll get back with you. We're back, guys. And uh, I just wanted to show you this awesome uh, Cornish game hen from uh, the Cornish family. <laughs> yeah. 
uh yeah dick cooked it in that dutch oven with some scallops i didn't have scallop stuff with mine but uh very good guys falling right off the bone and a uh, nice little smudge going there enjoy a cup of coffee really liking this here guys uh first time i actually even got out to use this one and uh very very cool little kettle you know shit stuck to it but uh very good kettle right there the gsi gonna enjoy using that guys and uh great piece of kit but uh just gonna finish this up anyway guys it's uh you know finish up our day but really really good time out with these guys i just want to say thank you to cameron and uh big boy bushcraft for having me out <clears throat> and uh there'll be more to come guys fishing season's coming up we got some plans to do some videos we're actually talking about guys as crazy as this sounds uh there's been some big foot sightings around so we got to get out and uh you know check that out too as well so you know gonna be pretty cool anyway guys and uh you know like i said man this just reiterates what i said before you don't have to go 60 miles back out in the back country to have a good time man and, you know practice some skills get a fire going even cooking on a fire guys is a skill that you, anybody can go learn that will come in handy if something if you know the chips are down you got to be able to do something that you're normally not used to doing out of your comfort zone you know that's just the way it is so anyway guys spook signing out uh, stay safe we'll get out and do some more as i said and uh you know just gonna enjoy this good meal and uh, if anything else comes up we'll get back with you but i think that's gonna be about it for now and uh stay safe and uh take her easy